Welcome to the Red Mountain Railroad. In this video, we're going to run a near mint Lionel Pennsylvania Railroad torpedo set. This set was produced in 1936, 37, and 38. I believe my set was from 1937. And I can tell it was not 38 because in 38 they changed the numbers on the cars. Uh, the set came with a number 653 hopper car, a number 655 box car, a number 654 tank car, and a number 657 caboose. As you can see in the top of the catalog page there, it sold for $21.75 here in 1937 and actually sold for that price each year it was produced. First some background, the Pennsylvania Railroad had a total of 425 K4 Pacific locomotives built for passenger service. When one thinks of Pennsylvania Railroad steam locomotives, the K4 is the first model that comes to mind. Of the 425 K4s that were built, 375 of them were built at the Pennsylvania Railroad's Juniata shops outside of Altoona, Pennsylvania. The remaining 75 were built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. Here's a uh, HO model of K4 number 1361, the locomotive that sat up at the Horseshoe Curve for years. In the late 1930s, many railroads embraced streamlining of steam locomotives to give them a more modern appearance. It was also thought that the aerodynamic streamlining would improve fuel efficiency. The Penzi's first attempt at streamlining was with a K4 locomotive in 1936. It was number 3768 and was designed by the famous industrial designer Raymond Lowy. The locomotive was an immediate star and was dubbed a torpedo. Lionel jumped on the popularity of this locomotive and came out with both an O-gauge model and an O-27 model of the torpedo in time for Christmas in 1936. Interestingly, the actual torpedo had a 462 wheel arrangement, but neither of the Lionel models, or none of the Lionel models actually had that wheel arrangement. Here's a picture of the actual Pennsylvania Railroad torpedo uh, when it was pulling the Broadway Limited back in the 30s. Here we have two of the 027 versions of the torpedo. In the front, in gunmetal gray, we have a 1688 with a 242 wheel arrangement. In the in, in rear here, in black, we have a 1668 with a 262 wheel arrangement. Neither of the wheel arrangements of either of these locomotives or the 238 uh, were of the Pacific type, the 462, uh, which is interesting. This is my Lionel 238E torpedo locomotive, gunmetal gray. Uh, I believe mine was produced in 1937. I know it wasn't produced in 38. Could have been produced in 36, but I think mine's a 37 model, making it 85 years old this year. Uh, the locomotive is in near mint condition, and the cars are in near mint condition. And I have all the original boxes for the uh, locomotive and cars. The E in the number, 238E, it's a small E, designated the, the it, was, it was a designation that said that the, the unit came with an electromagnetic reversing unit. That was a fairly new development in the 30s. You can see the little lever on the top of the locomotive that turned the unit on and off. Uh, the electromagnetic reversing unit allowed the engine to go from new, from uh, forward to neutral to reverse, back to neutral to forward. So you could stop it and uh, go either direction. If you only wanted, only wanted to go in one direction, you just turn the thing off. Okay, let's see her run.
pretty good. That's the end of this Red Mountain Railroad video. Thanks for watching.